Hello Year 10, we just thought we'd check in just before you join us on Monday. We'll just give you a little um, rundown of what it's all about. But we're, most of all, we wanted to say this, that we're really looking forward to seeing you. It's been too long and uh, let's get back to it. So next slide, Miss McFarlane, there we go. Okay, so in case you have any uncertainties about what's happening when we do reopen, the government have said that we can have 25% of you in school at any one time. And so how we've organised that is that on a Monday, Polaris will be in, on a Tuesday, Rigel will be in, on a Wednesday, Sirius will be in, and on a Thursday, Vega will be in. Now, next week, we're just starting with tutor appointments, if you like, just meetings with your form tutor. And you should have received from us an individual appointment time, and you need to come to school at that time. Yeah. So that's next week and then the meeting will be uh, talking about how you've been getting on with things at home and that's just in general and with your schoolwork. And be honest and be open, it's, it's a supportive meeting, we want to find out how you are so we can move forward as we move on to the next week which is when we start uh, lessons. So on week two, um, again coming in on the house days, uh, we'll have lessons in English, Maths and Science, and we'll tell you which one you go to at which time. The week after that will be options lessons, and there are four lessons that day. Um, option A, B, C and D. And again, we'll be telling you which one to go to at which time. Okay, what we want you to wear is a school uniform top. That could be a summer polo shirt or your PE top. You can then wear jeans, trainers, anything else which is reasonable for the rest of your clothing. You need to bring any equipment you have for writing and you need to bring with you water. You will finish each day by lunchtime and we will then escort you off site and we ask you please to go straight home. Yeah, straight home. So when you're at school, um, I'm going to do a little tour of the school in a moment just to show you how we've set it up because it's really really important that we all stay two meters apart that's how we stay safe and healthy throughout this um, so we have put lots of measures in place uh, but you've got to do your bit as well you it, it might be hard when you come back to school because you get back into your old routines but you really do need to keep two meters apart from everybody else it's really important so around the site there are all sorts of things that we've set up and arranged in order to keep two metres apart and to keep you safe and also to keep the people who work here safe. So for examples, example, all classrooms are set up for 10 students only. Yeah, um, and uh, all the doors will be propped open. So you won't have to open doors or push doors to open them, they'll just be walking straight through down the corridors. Hand washing is going to be really important. <coughs> There will be sanitizer when you walk into the building. There will also be sanitizer as you enter every single classroom. Yeah, and you won't be able to fill up your water bottles uh, because we've switched the water fountains off. But you can bring water in and we will have water here for you in bottles. Okay, We've got a one-way system around the school, which we'll reiterate in a minute. And we will have to escort you from place to place. There will be staff out and about in the corridors to make sure you go straight to where you need to go. And you'll see this one, uh, the dining hall's not open to year 10 yet, um, so at break time you'll be in the classroom, you just had the lesson, uh, you just spent the lesson in, um, but we'll be a enabling you to order from the canteen, from the dining room, as soon as you arrive in school, and then we'll deliver it to you to eat uh, in your classroom. Okay. For your own safety, we're only allowing a room to be used once a day, unless we can accommodate the cleaning for in between times for that. And also, um, you'll see that we, we have to keep the room well ventilated, so all the windows will be open in your classroom. It's been quite chilly this week, so you might want to think about that when deciding what to wear, something maybe a little bit warmer if it's a chillier day. So, just to show you the one-way system, uh, downstairs you will walk right if you came into the main entrance, Upstairs you would go left if you like, and all of the stairs are either up or down. You also notice that the walls are much more colourful. That's just because we've spruced the place up for you as well. Okay, so um, if there's a fire uh, 
we won't have any fire drills, but if the fire bell goes off, then evacuation as normal to the tennis courts. Um... Right, I'm at Hampton Vale Gate. You know the one by the uh, gym park. And I'm gonna walk to school and you'll see on the curb here, we've marked out some colorful bits of tape to remind you of what two meters actually is. And as we walk along the, as we walk along the path here, we can see there are plenty more, all different rainbow colors to make it as cheerful as we can. Hopefully it won't be as windy as it is at the moment. So walking up to school, and then we're gonna walk into the veil gate. And then you'll see just below our lovely rainbow, Miss McFarlane. Well, Miss McFarlane will be there, as will I, as will other people. We're welcoming you when you arrive to school. And you can see we're ready for you. So when you arrive, you'll see there's uh, some hand sanitizer there. You'll have to sanitize your hands. And then we have a one-way system. There's a map reminding you of the up and down stairs and which way to walk. And there's the arrow showing me I've got to turn right. So I'm gonna head right now. So when we walk down to our tutor meeting, you'll be escorted by one of us. And the meetings will be along the corridor. Uh, one of the, uh, sorry, one of the classrooms along the humanities or the MFL corridor. But you'll see we've got the tape to remind you of two meters as you go. Now we're gonna go into Mr. Bounton's room here. Oh, yes, already, already unlocked. And there we are. Not the normal way we expect a classroom to look at school, but we've had to do it. So all these tables are two meters apart. You'll see they're marked and you'll sit at one of these and your tutor will join you two meters apart. And then the next person who comes in after you will sit at another table so that nobody sits at the same table uh, during the day. And then after the day is over, uh, they get a thorough cleaning for the next house to join us um, after that. So I think that's pretty much it. So, Mr. McFarland's gonna say goodbye. Bye, we look forward to seeing you next week. Yeah, bye all, see you next week.